So hello and welcome to Vets Diary friends. In this video I am going to tell you about the different subjects which we study in our 5 and a half years BVSC and EH degree. That is Bachelor of Veterinary Sciences and Animal Husbandry. So the first three years are of one year duration. The fourth year is of one and a half year duration. And the final year that is the internship year, the compulsory rotatory internship program is of one year. So starting with the first year, in first year we have three subjects, Veterinary Anatomy, Livestock Products and Management that is LPM and Veterinary Physiology and Biochemistry. In Veterinary Anatomy as the name suggests, we study about the different anatomical, histological and embryological aspects of the animals. In Livestock Products and Management that is LPM, we study about the different breeds of animals, different breeds of cattle, buffalo, goat, sheep, dog, cat swine, horse, mule, donkey, etc. We study about all these different species and we study about their different managemental aspects, their breeding, feeding, uh, reproductive aspects, etc. The third subject is veterinary physiology and biochemistry. In this, we study about the different physiological and functional aspects of an animal body and uh, several experiments are also conducted in all these three subjects. Now talking about the second year, in second year we have five subjects. The first one is animal nutrition as the name suggests. In this we study about the different nutritional aspects of the animals, how a balanced ration is prepared, how the feed for poultry, cattle, buffalo, goat etc is prepared. And the second is uh, animal genetics and breeding. In this we study about the various genetical and breeding aspects of the animals that how we can increase the yield of animals by cross breeding or uh, how to stop, how to decrease cross breeding due to its various negative effects and many other such things related to genetics and breeding. The third subject is veterinary pathology. In pathology we study about the different disease aspects of different animals and how they are managed, their pathological lesions etc. And the next subject is veterinary microbiology in which we study about the different microbes and the disease they cause such as bacteria, virus, fungi etc. And the last subject is veterinary biochemistry. Now talking about the third year, in third year also we have five subjects. The first subject is uh, livestock products and technology. In LPT we study about basically how the livestock products are utilized, how they are made, example how meat can be utilized, how milk can be utilized, what is a slaughterhouse, how slaughterhouse is managed, what are the different products made from milk, meat, etc. The second subject is veterinary pharmacology. In pharmacology, we study about the different drugs, different uh, medicines which are offered their dose, their mechanism of action, when they are to be given, uh, in which condition they are to be given, etc. The third subject is veterinary public health and epidemiology. In this we study about the various epidemiological aspects of veterinary that how any disease is spread, how we can contain it etc. The fourth subject is about veterinary animal husbandry and extension education. In this we study about how the technology is made to reach from the university or from the research level to the farmers, how by extension the technology is transferred, how transfer of technology takes place to the farmers, how what we study at the colleges, what scientists discover is made available to the farmers. So that is basically we study in extension. And the last subject is veterinary parasitology in which we study about the different parasites, the disease they caused, how they can be managed etc. Now coming to our fourth year that is the clinical year and the most important year of veterinary. In this year only we get the largest amount of practical exposure to veterinary clinics. In third year only we have uh, one dedicated period for the clinics but that is to a limited extent only. It is in fourth year when we get a full fledged exposure to clinics and uh, in this the three main subjects are present that is veterinary surgery and radiology. As the name suggests we study about different surgical aspects and different radiological aspects how x-ray is conducted, how MRI is conducted, how different surgeries in different animals are conducted, how large animal surgery, small animal surgery is done. We study all this in veterinary surgery and radiology. The second subject is veterinary medicine. In this we study about the different diseases which affect animals, what are the medicines that we should prescribe, what are their dose rates etc. And uh, in this we also study about uh, veterinary jurisprudence. The last subject is veterinary gynecology and obstetrics. In this we study about the different reproductional aspect of animals, what is AI, what is IVF, how AI is done. So these are all the subjects that are taught to us in the entire four and a half year course. 
and as i told earlier that the final year that is the entire one year is dedicated to internship program so we got an opportunity in our internship program to visit lucknow zoo and to visit the lucknow biological center that is basically the vaccination center how vaccines are made and what are the different vaccines given to animals we got an exposure there we also did uh, internship at lucknow polyclinic and we also get an opportunity to visit uttarakhand in uh, gb pant university of agriculture and technology it is a one month out of state internship program so we were sent to uttarakhand and it was a great experience the video of which i have uploaded also and there are different equine training programs uh, swine training programs cattle management buffalo management etc so we all participated in various other different trainings which happen in at college level we are sent at different field levels different schools to spread awareness among the farmers and the community at large so this was an entire overview of the veterinary and the five and a half years and what we study in five and a half years i hope that you got the gist of it and it will definitely benefit you and if you found it useful then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to vet study and keep watching vet study and have a great day guys bye bye